I'm here with Phil, and he has a documentary called The Last Great Circus Flyer. Circus Flyer, and he's here to tell us about it. I uh, so we started filming this about six years ago, and it's the story of Miguel Vasquez. Miguel Vasquez is considered by many, if not most, as the greatest trapeze flyer ever. And the reason for that is he was the first performer to complete a quadruple somersault. And th this was, for, for many, many years, this was uh, considered impossible. Uh, yeah, there what was, was a, the year he did that? Uh, he did it in 1981 in practice and then in 1982 in performance. It's always said that it really doesn't count unless you do it in performance. Oh, I can see and that. it was huge at the time. Uh, Tom Brokaw reported it on NBC News. It was front page of the New York Times. I, I, I mean, it was really, really uh, something special. But, but the reason why I, I've entitled this The Last Great Circus Flyer is that circus has changed. Entertainment has changed. And Miguel may be the last trapeze flyer, the last great trapeze flyer, that gets the attention and, and the accolades that he did when he was performing. And uh, it's different now. And as one of, the, one of the performers told, one of the people I interviewed, one of the young performers, he said, somebody could do maybe five or maybe six now, and no one would care, no one re would report on it. But he did like uh, 2,900 and something uh, quadruples over his career. And uh, I th there were a few other people that, that did the, the quad. The tension is there the but, but, but they didn't do it many times. And he was the only one that could really do it with a consistency that was important, and therefore... Now, where is he now, today? Uh, today, uh, he's, uh, let's see, tonight he's in Orlando, and he'll be here tomorrow. We have a local he, talent also, Tito. Yes. Who has a trapeze center in Venice right. that I'm familiar with. Uh, Tito has uh, his trapeze school and his brother, Richie, in Los Angeles. They are in the film also. Uh, so we have Miguel. Still keeping it alive. Yes, we have Miguel and Tito together. Uh, Miguel works, and we, we cover this in the film, Miguel now works for Cirque du Soleil. Okay. And so does his brother Juan. And they still get quite a bit of attention. As yes, well. yes. And, and, and his brother Juan, Miguel's brother Juan, who was the catcher, uh, he works for La Rev in Las Vegas. As a matter of fact, all of the people in both families, the wives, uh, the children, they all work for Cirque du Soleil, except for the youngest one. He's about nine years old. Does the film expose their family lives, or just the, it the does, transformation it, the, they've the, had to have over the years? Right, the first, alive? yeah, the first half of the movie uh, uh, covers his particular uh, feats. It, it, Ringling used to say when they would announce that when he would complete the quad, they would say, "Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen the most sensational feat in all of circus history." Oh. Now that's pretty. Amazing. Pretty in impressive, right. you know. No one's going to say he you made the claim. Uh, you know, I mean, now it could have been hype, but it wasn't for me. Um, I saw him perform in the early '80s, and um, followed his career somewhat. And then I got busy, you know, doing different things and working on different projects. And when an early internet search engine came up, uh, how is he doing? What's going on? And uh, I looked, and it said he was dead. Oh, it said he. It said he had died in a tragic accident, and uh, so I stopped going to the circus. I didn't go. To, I didn't go to the circus for 14 years, and then finally I said, "Well, I, I guess my period of mourning is over." And uh, I went on YouTube, and he was alive. I had no idea, and I, I, I literally, I, I was sitting in a chair at a desk, and I jumped up. I could, it was like seeing a ghost. And I, and I felt the chair fell back. I couldn't believe it. I mean, th this was this great. All this time. Yeah, yeah, this great trapeze performer. And, and I had thought he was dead. Well, what had happened was that uh, his wife's cousin, a young man, had died in a trapeze accident. And someone had taken Miguel's picture, Miguel Vasquez's picture, and put his picture and erroneously reported that it was the, the other young man. So for 14 years, I thought he was dead. So it was like seeing a ghost. So for me, I mean, think of all the people that, who's the one person you'd like to meet in your life? Right. Everybody's different. You know, right. we, we all would have maybe liked to meet Lincoln or something. Right. This was the one person in my life that I wanted to meet. Oh, that's and so well, And I'm sure they appreciate your dedication as well, that you're still trying to bring all of this into the line. Well, I hope so. I mean, you know, the first half of the film, as I said, we, we, we discussed the careers, but the second half of the film, we, we sort of go into what they do now and, and how things, you know, it's an adjustment. You used to be in circus, what do you do now? 
And we also talk about different other aspects of the circus. What was it like to be a child in the circus? There's jealousy in the circus. Uh, a lot of drama as well. There is. Yeah. We, we discussed that a little bit. And then uh, near the, the end of the movie, they were asked to perform one more time. And you'll see how that goes. Well, we're looking forward to it. We appreciate you being here. And it's it a pleasure. It sounds like a fun film. We're all looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. It.